Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of UA Eats. I'm UA, and I am here in New York getting the most famous street food cart. Hello, guys. But it's not this one behind me. This one behind me is an imitation cart, and a pretty good one. Very, very similar colors, very, very similar logo and uniforms. Hello, guys, has been around in New York for more than 20 years now, and its impact is so big that there's tons of imitation carts. Some imitations are blatant, like this cart behind me. Others are more subtle. The next time you go to New York and you see all those street halal carts that might not have these colors, but look like more third-party halal carts, those are also all imitation carts of the original halal guys. The original halal guys started the whole trend. They began as a normal hot dog stand, but when many of their customers were cab drivers and they wanted some halal meat, they started making their halal chicken over rice street food, and it took off word of mouth particularly through taxis, spread. And now, Hello Guys is lucky to not just have New York locations, but they have locations all over the US and even all over the world. To this day, thousands, maybe even millions of tourists a year come here to New York and come to 53rd and 6th Avenue to eat the original and legendary Hello Guys cart. And you know what? You can count me as one of those. When I moved to New York, everyone said that you had to eat chicken over rice and you had to eat it at Halal Guys, and specifically, you had to eat it at the 53rd and 6th Avenue location. But, I don't know, something just wasn't quite right. I took a few bites and I, I somehow wasn't impressed. I didn't really see the hype. I found the protein dry. I found the rice good, but a little bit oily and a little bit overly greasy. Since then, I have been to Halal Guys many more times and Every single time I left not only not impressed, but possibly more and more unimpressed every single time. Who knows, maybe it's just me, maybe my expectations were too high, but today we're gonna give Hello Guys, uh, not this fake one, we're gonna give the real Hello Guys one more chance. We're gonna see if with tempered expectations, maybe it's better than we remembered. And if I'm wrong, I will gladly admit that my expectations were too high and Hello Guys is actually legit. But if I'm right, I'm gonna show you guys how I get my Hello Guys fix and where you can still get the original Hello Guys taste and experience. But until then, let's head to the OG Hello Guys. Come on, let's go. Now, before we continue with the rest of the video though, I just wanna thank the sponsor of this video, HelloFresh. Now, fall is quickly approaching and we all got stuff going on. We might have school, our kids might have school, our family members might have school. We might not have time to go grocery shopping and to stand in long grocery lines. With HelloFresh though, you can skip out on all that grocery shopping because everything is prepackaged and mailed straight to you. On average, HelloFresh is 25% cheaper than takeout and delivery. And and there's tons of recipes to choose from, so there's really something for everyone. When I wasn't really that experienced at cooking, it could be pretty intimidating to walk into a grocery store and you see like a whole selection and you don't really know what to do. It can be overwhelming if you're a beginner, but for HelloFresh, I found it really good for beginners because the recipes are clearly outlined and it really helps you practice and gain confidence. Go to HelloFresh.com and use code 50UAEATS for 50% off plus free shipping. Again, that's HelloFresh.com, code 50UAEATS for 50% 50 off plus free shipping. And now, back to our video. Okay, so we just got our Hello Guys. I'm pretty hungry, so it's got that in its favor, so let's take a look. Okay, this is our Hello Guys combination platter. They asked if I wanted onions and peppers. I don't always get those. I don't usually get those, but uh, you know, I figured why not? So there's some beef gyro meat, or if you want me to say it more accurately, gyro meat. And then here we have some chicken. Chicken over rice is what put them on the map. And as it was before, uh, the chicken looks a little bit on the dry end. It looks a little bit stringy and not particularly appetizing. I do gotta say one thing about Halal Guys though, is that when I first moved to New York, and even though I did not 100% 
doesn't think it lived up to the hype, they at the very least would drizzle the sauce on top of it for you. And you know, really give you like an even distribution. Now they kind of just give you some packs and when they serve it to you, they kind of just pull these sauces out of like a cooler. So they're even like slightly cold to the touch. Although I guess they'll warm up when they touch the food. If I remember correctly, the sauces are pretty fire, both the hot sauce and the white sauce. So let's dig in, let's see how the food is. And if you guys eat here, definitely be conservative with the hot sauce because the hot sauce is really hot. I mean, even if you think you have a good spice tolerance, I would only do like a little bit because uh, trust me, it's, it's pretty, pretty hot. It'll blow your face off or something else off that is not PG for me to talk about. Yeah, so one issue with them no longer drizzling the sauce is that when you apply it yourself, it's kind of hard for you to like evenly mix it. Like especially because, let me show you if I have some sauce left, but like it kind of just comes out in like bigger, in bigger like drops, you know what I mean? Like as opposed to like a, like a sauce, I don't know what they're called, like those drizzle bottles, like it's a little bit more thin of a stream, so it kind of makes it easier for the sauce to be more even. Here it's like, you know, we got some big thick clumps here and uh, you know, I kind of miss some parts here and, and whatnot. I don't know, maybe I just need to up my like sauce drizzle game, but. First, let's take a bite of this chicken without any of the sauce on it. I mean, I got a little bit excited when I saw that they were kind of cooking it fresh. I've been here a few times when they're really cooking it like in bulk and it's really sitting on like the flat top and completely has no chance of like remaining moist. So in this case, I actually got a little bit excited because it seemed like he was cooking it fresh. Maybe he was just moving it around, but I kind of got a little bit hopeful that it was gonna be more fresh and therefore more juicy. But as you can kind of see, I mean, it looks relatively stringy, relatively, uh, you know, dry. And unfortunately, it's not just like a pulled chicken where, okay, Okay, like maybe it's moist but they just pulled it apart and that's just the way it looks uh it is kind of dry to be honest um this was something that i kind of noticed when i first moved to new york but unfortunately throughout the years uh it has not really been rectified for whatever reason i fully believe that it was not always like this it probably was more moist at one point but uh yeah as you can see it's um not super on the moist side but let's try the gyro or gyro meat why don't we The gyro's better. The gyro's a little bit less dry. Let's try another piece. Yeah, actually the beef's not bad. The beef actually is relatively juicy and it even has almost like a bit of like a, a charred flavor. It's almost a little bit like pleasantly crunchy. So I guess the beef at least they're like slicing it once it's ready and they're not letting it like spin for too long. But of course, the white sauce is what made this place famous, so let's try some chicken with a big slathering of white sauce on it. Their white sauce recipe is pretty good. Ever since 1990 is what the package says. I guess for more than 30 years, this white sauce has really carried them. And whatever they're putting in this white sauce, it's really working. It's a really, really good sauce. I mean, let's see if we can kind of glean what the ingredients are. Soybean oil being number one, that's interesting. So uh, may not be the healthiest thing, but yeah, then water, egg yolk, um, let's see. And less than 2% is a whole bunch of other stuff like salt, sugar, spices. Notice that all the key stuff that's gonna make this taste good is all left ambiguous. Like spices, like what, what spices? Natural flavor, like what, what natural flavor? I like how all the, the secret stuff is all hidden and apparently it's that 2% that makes a big difference. So this white sauce is good. Uh, unfortunately, the protein unfortunately is still rather dry. Like it's quite dry. It's actually even drier than I remembered. The chicken is just so dry that no matter how good the sauce is, is that it's kind of just hard to like overcome. Like the sauce is not gonna be able to rehydrate the chicken. Let's try one of these gyro pieces with plenty of sauce. Okay, the gyro's not bad. I mean, the gyro just tastes better than the chicken, so it's more juicy. Like, it tastes less like the sauce is trying to save the chicken and more like the sauce is pairing with the chicken. Let's dig a little deeper and try some of the rice. I mean, the rice is looking 
pretty fresh and pretty tasty at least. The rice actually is not as good as I remembered. It does taste a little bit more bland, a little bit more dry. I kind of came in here with like tempered expectations, but I think I'm gonna have to temper them more going forward. To be honest, even though the white sauce is quite nice, it's also not quite as fatty and creamy and delicious as I remember. I think maybe because it's now pre-packaged, it's not as fresh as it was in the olden days. Like if you look at the ingredients, all these random sauce ingredients to maintain freshness, well, it's definitely making the sauce taste less fresh if you have to add stuff to preserve it. There were some things that I liked about Halal Guys, but I feel like things have kind of degraded even a little bit more than before. So let's take this to go and I'm gonna share some thoughts as we walk. Wow, so honestly, that was pretty disappointing. I came in here with an open mind. I was willing to give them one more chance or a 10th chance. It was a little bit even more disappointing than I remembered. Like it's kind of degraded even more. So we're gonna toss this. And remember how I promised you a tip to get the real Hello Guys taste? Well, I'm gonna show you right now. So come on, let's go. All right, guys, we just took the subway to Union Square to another Halal Guys location, one of their brick and mortar locations. A lot of people, they purposely go to the 53rd and 6th Avenue original cart, but all the carts suck now, trust me. The carts are all tourist traps. They're literally just doing volume. I know you might think these expansion storefronts, like these additional franchises, you might think they're gonna be worse, but they really have the process down to a T, and the food is good quality, much better than the cart which are all tourist traps at this point. So let's go eat. Uh, white sauce and hot sauce, but just a little bit of hot sauce. Yeah, so just, just a little bit. Uh, a little bit more white sauce. Hi, how are you? How are you doing? Double four combos, please. Four combos in the middle? Oh, uh, yeah, please. Thank you so much. All right, so we're here inside the Halal Guy storefront. I think this was the first ever Halal Guy storefront. It's a nice cozy little store, really well lit. Definitely a different vibe from the cart that we went to earlier. But let's open up our Halal Guy's food and let me show you, it's pretty much like night and day. Oops, Oops I think they gave us two caps for some reason. Oh look, they gave us three actually. It's a hat trick of lids. But yeah, guys, as you can see, I promise it's not just because of the better lighting from being outside versus being inside this store. But as you can see, it just already looks much better, right? And I think a lot of it is because, as you could see earlier, here they still drizzle the sauce on it for you. Like you tell them how much you want and they drizzle the sauce for you. I also just wanna show you the meat itself, I'm trying to get a piece without sauce so I can just show you the chicken itself. But the chicken itself just looks so much more juicy, right? Like so much less dry, so much more fresh. Okay, I'll show you. I'll put it on this and I'll just press it. Like I'll just press down on it and you see that it's just much bigger, much more juicy, much more moist chicken. You know, not like the chicken at the cart, which was completely dried out. And trust me, when you take a bite, mm, you definitely taste the difference. It's definitely much more moist and juicy. Let me see if I can find a gyro piece. The gyro at the 53rd and 6th Avenue cart was still pretty good, but yeah, this one is looking pretty good too. Maybe about as good. Mm, pretty good. The gyro actually tastes pretty similar, but the chicken, if you get the chicken, it's like so much better. But let's just mix it up with some of this hot sauce and try to get like an optimal bite with sauce and hot sauce and some rice all in one bite. That looks pretty good. Mm. Mm. 
Mm. And the rice, uh, that rice at the cart was also so much more dry uh, and so bland and under seasoned. Uh, I really, really wish I did not ask for too much sauce. But here, here you go. It's like digging for gold, like looking for golden pieces of rice. Just look at that rice. Like, it's more oily. It definitely tastes better seasoned and tastes more fresh. Not so dry. All the ingredients just come together more. Mm. As I mentioned earlier, the gyro meats taste pretty much the same, but when all the other ingredients are better. Mm. When all the ingredients are working in tandem, even the gyro being the same quality, it just tastes better when the sauce is better and the rice is better. Before we end the video though, I just want to show you guys my perfect bite. Never neglect the pita. Just get, get a piece of pita like so. Get a nice saucy piece of chicken with rice stuck to it. And a nice piece of beef gyro. And... Mm. Mm. It's amazing. So guys, there's loads of great halal carts in New York. I mean, they all kind of followed in the footsteps of halal guys. Many of them are as good or have outgrown halal guys. I particularly like a place really close to the original halal guys cart called Adele's Famous Halal. But if you really, really want to eat that vintage halal guys flavor, or if you're a tourist and you want to have halal guys, you want to have the hyped up halal guys and not the tourist trap halal guys, skip the long line at 53rd and 6th Avenue and and go to the Union Square storefront because trust me, it's loads better and there's no line. Anyways guys, uh, I haven't really eaten much today so I'm gonna finish knocking out my amazing halal dinner here. Let me know what you think of halal guys. Let me know if you feel like the halal guys carts have fallen off. If you've been to the halal guys storefronts, let me know what you think as well. Let me know in the comments because great minds eat alike. If you like my videos, make sure you like and subscribe. That way you stay up to date whenever I post another video. Until next time, I'll see you later.